Five gifts I will not give kids as a former play therapist. Number one, noisy plastic toys. Other than being annoying for parents, they also are not great for kids. Studies show that they can be overwhelming to children, especially young kids, and they also can delay language development. Number two, toys with a lot of pieces. Kids cannot handle too many options. Studies show that when they have too many options available to them, they're more likely to just make a mess and walk away because they lose focus, they get distracted, or they get overwhelmed. It's just too much for them. Number three are big toys. Now, grandparents are notoriously guilty of giving big toys because they want to give something that seems really big and impressive, but those big, impressive toys are going to take up space. And I know that kids thrive in play spaces that are less cluttered and not as many options around. So I like to give toys that can be easily put away in a bin and rotated or packed up in a closet. And while there's a lot of value in these big toys that promote open-ended play, I'm going to let the parents choose what they want in their space. Number four is any kind of gift that comes with an instruction or an obligation of my expectation of how and when and where they'll use it. For example, I'm not going to get a child an outfit and say, oh, I thought you could wear this on the first day of school or giving a stuffed animal and saying, this is for you to sleep with every night. We're going to give kids the creativity and the independence to choose if, how, when, and where they use the gifts that we get them. And number five would be anything that just gives them like five minutes of fun and then it's over and what's left is not something they're going to continue to play.